hosting a holiday party and want your space to look festive but don't know where to start, you can start right here with Joe Minio. Joe, good morning. Good morning. It's so good to see you. We were just talking yeah. about, you know, it felt like you were here last week, but that was Halloween. <laughs> right. This year just flying by. I, it's ridiculous. It's yeah. ridiculous. Yes, but we've got to be ahead of the game, right? That's it. We were ready for parties. Let's do this. Um, and we Again, we always want to show you something very easy that you can do yourself. Yes. And, you know, it looks so complicated, but it really so is not. So okay. let's start off. So what we're going to do is we started off with a really great tablecloth. This is actually the tablecloth I use on my table at nice. home. I love this color. It works with our home. So I started with something. I like doing a tablecloth that has a lot of pattern to it okay. because it does a lot of the work for us before we even begin. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a long runner off the table or down the table rather. What I'm going to do is this is what we call a number 40 ribbon. This is a three inch ribbon, but I want it to be thicker. So by doing just cutting the pieces as long as you need them to be, okay. taking some duct tape and you could then connect them, right? Okay. Just like so, Easy. creating it as thick as you need it to be. So yeah. uh, the magic of TV, we're going to go ahead and start by doing oh, this wow. really great. Again, there's our runner and we added some bows down uh, the runner also and we just stapled those on. Gorgeous. When you make your bows, what you wanna do is you want those bows to be a little bit more on the round side rather than flat or more narrow, try to make it as round as you possibly can. So right off the bat, that's giving us some drama, isn't it? Oh yeah. And what we're gonna do is we just took very inexpensive wrapping paper and we just wrapped some of these beautiful packages, just little boxes. We did adorn them a little bit more than you might because you know we wanna give it a little bit of extra splash. Very inexpensive, but we're gonna add those down our table, just like so, right? The next element we're going to be adding is these uh, just beautiful poinsettias. These are artificial. Okay. And what we did is we just used an inexpensive vase, put a little bit of styrofoam in, pop those in, add a little red bow, and those add to our design like so. See how that's all coming together? Uh, it's so beautiful. You know, maybe even some of the, uh, the packages will turn on its side so we can yeah. kind of see the bow. The next element is we took very inexpensive vases. These can be cylinder vases. Here we have a square one. And we, again, wrap them like Christmas packages, yeah. right? Added a little bow, but that's certainly not enough. What we're going to do is we're just going to take some, again, carnations that are inexpensive, very right? affordable, yes. But what's great is the volume. If we use volume in inexpensive flowers or any element, it really comes to life. So we took some carnations, and what we're going to do is we're just going to gather those together, and the objective is to make a round uh, ball, like so. And if I can okay. grab that piece of twine, All right. we just gather those together, add a little bit of twine to it, and then we're just going to pop it right in to our vase, like so. Oh, you make it so look now so easy. <laughs> these are going to be added in because let's get a few more in there. Right. And what's really great about this that I love is mixing the fresh with the artificial like poinsettias. Right this? over there would be amazing. Right uh, right. Some Christmas ornaments. Now what we did here is we actually glued these together. Nice. Just in this way they wouldn't roll away on your table. So by gluing them together, you can certainly use them year after year. And if we can grab some of that fresh pine, all right, you can certainly get pine at your flower shops. So I'm going to add, have you add a little bit in that bow there, and I will add some oh. over here. Okay, just like so that. So just stick it in. Just the bow. stick it in the bow. Have it kind of cascade out. You got it. Oh, oh my, hey, if this if this doesn't work for you, we're hiring. Okay, there hey, you go. Joe, there I'm on There you my go. Way. Just you never know, <laughs> I right? Can do both. You, you, <laughs> <laughs> That's true, you probably could. So we add all of those in, wow. and there is our design. This Boom! Is so beautiful, and I love the different levels, the yeah. dimension. And I think a great tip that you told us is the round yeah. here, the round bows there. It really adds a It nice, really does. Um, and one other thing I just want to mention is if you notice, nothing here is taller than 12 inches. Yes. What we never want to do is do something too tall that Uncle Bill oh, is going to be removing see. it off the table yeah. during dinner, right? And yeah. then, of course, I would have a heart attack. So um, <laughs> we always want to keep it a little lower so yes. all of your guests can see over the table. Oh, my gosh. Fantastic job, as always. 
Thank you My so much, My pleasure always. Joe. Happy I holidays. I hope you all learned something out as well. This is Joe Minio's Contact. You can check out his website. He always do amazing work, and we're so glad to have him in studio with us today. Have fun at your holiday party and just be the hostess with the mostest. You're definitely, uh, you could do that with this display definitely right here. Definitely you can. I want to pick this up and take it home. <laughs> oh, great job, Joe. Thank you. Sending it over to you, Emily. I want to talk about Uncle Bill. If I see anyone touch a arrangement <laughs> on the table, no, you're leaving, not the arrangement. <laughs> All right, let's jump into our forecast today.